Hey, I'm Greg Lobanov, director of Beastie Ball, and today I'm going to be your coach, teaching you the rules of this beautiful sport played by beasties all around the world. But before we talk about Beastie Ball, we have to talk about beasties. They're creatures who evolved to play sports, and they have a natural disposition to play Beastie Ball in the wild. That's right, Beastie Ball wasn't invented by humans. It came from nature. In fact, studies have shown that active Beastie Balling has a positive impact on local ecological health. But Beastie researchers are only just beginning to understand that phenomena. So Beastie Ball, it's kind of like turn-based volleyball. Two Beasties play on each side with up to three more on the bench. The side with the ball is on offense. They have up to three actions to move, pass, or use support plays before they finally spike the ball over with an attack. The Beastie that just received the ball, my Spreco, can't usually attack right away. They have to pass the ball at least once to get it back under control. So for example, I could pass the ball and then pass it back and then attack with Spreco from here. Or, if I undo all that, I could also instead do a support play, and then I could pass the ball, and then I could attack with Axolotti instead. Or, maybe what I want to do is take Axolotti and move them up to the front, and then pass to them, and then I could attack with Axolotti from the front. And that actually might be smartest because attacks from the net get a power bonus. The game tells you exactly how much damage you're going to do when you're picking your attack. When you launch an attack, you don't target another beastie, you target a lane. So my attack is gonna go all the way down this lane and stop at the first thing it hits. These extra numbers are showing me that if the target beastie moves up to the front row, they'll actually take extra damage. So just like how my attacks do extra damage when I'm at the net, beasties also take extra damage when they're at the net too. So it's a little risky to go up to the front as well as awarding. It looks like I'm gonna do more damage to Kachik, so I'm gonna send my attack this way. Okay, now the other team has the ball, and we're on defense. We can make one secret action to defend against their attack. I could back my BC off from the net so they're safer, but I want to do something even more interesting. If I click on the other team, I can see their moves, and I can even see how much damage their attacks will do to me. This BC looks really strong, so I bet they're actually going to attack with this one. And I'm going to call that out by using a block, which only BCs of the net can do. Once I click on this and lock this decision in, I'm going to see their offense turn play out, and then my block is going to reveal itself just before the attack lands. So let's do it. Okay, nice. I got my block right. So that dramatically reduced the damage their attack did. Still, even with that block, my Spreco's energy is getting pretty low. If a beastie hits zero stamina when receiving an attack, then they'll just drop it. That's how you lose a point. The other team has been staying in the back and playing defensive, so it's been hard to do a lot of damage to them. But I have a secret weapon, and I think it's time to reveal it. I mentioned before how attacks target lanes. Well, some attacks target sideways, like this. So if they leave an open lane like that, I can target right there, and bam! That's the other way to win a point. Just target where nobody's defending. There's so much more to the sport that I don't have time to cover. Every beastie has unique strengths and can specialize in different roles in your team. Beasties that you pair up on the field will form bonds and be able to do a special combo move together based on what kind of friendship they have. I could go on and on, but let's just leave it there for now. I hope you enjoyed learning the basics of Beastie Ball. If you want to hit the courts for yourself, then check us out at BeastieBallGame.com. At the time of this video, we've got a free demo available now on Steam. And we're also on Kickstarter and would love to have your support. Thanks very much!